This video is going to explain how to move around a document in order to make edits to that document. Of course, you can always move around a document using your mouse. When you move your mouse over the document area, it will take on the shape of an I-beam. This allows you to click in between any two words or any two characters. Wherever the cursor is, which Microsoft refers to as an insertion point, is where the text is going to be inserted. However, sometimes moving around with the mouse is not the most efficient method. So you can use what I call the four survival keys. The up arrow will move you up through the document line by line. The down arrow will move you down through the document line by line. The right arrow will move you character by character to the right. And the left arrow will move you character by character to the left. I call these the survival keys because if all you know is up, down, left, and right, you will survive. You definitely want to learn how to use the control in conjunction with the four arrow keys. So control left arrow. Notice it's moving you by words rather than by characters. And control right arrow is moving you to the right by words rather than by characters. Control up arrow moves you up through your document by paragraphs and control down arrow moves you down through your document by paragraphs. So at the very least you want to learn how to do control up and down to move up and down by paragraphs control right and left to move to the right and left by words. The end key will take you to the end of the line you're on and the home key will take you to the beginning of the line you're on. End all the way to the right, home all the way to the left. Control end to the very bottom of the document no matter how long it is and control home to the very top of the document. There are many other cursor movement keys, many of which are covered in your text. But the only other ones we want to take a look at here are the backspace and delete keys. Notice right now I'm going to go ahead and click right here in the middle of the first line. If I want to get rid of the characters that are to the left of the cursor, I can use the backspace key. Each time I press the backspace key, one character to the left of the cursor is deleted or I can use the delete key. Each time I press the delete key, notice that a character to the right of the cursor is deleted. Notice that the backspace and delete key, both backspace or delete characters, one character at a time. By holding down control and using backspace, I'm able to remove words to the left of the cursor. So rather than having to press the backspace key once for each character, control backspace, deletes the entire word to the left of the cursor. And with the delete key, control delete gets rid of entire words to the right of the cursor. So again, rather than having to press delete once for each character, control delete allows me to remove the entire word. These keystrokes are important because you'll find that you use them both the up, down, left, and right arrows, the control right and control left arrows, and even the backspace delete, control backspace, and control delete in many other computer applications besides Microsoft Word. So it's time for us to master them.